Well, hello, YouTube. It is me, Tri-State EDC. Part three of that big, gnarly Blade Ops unboxing, and we got a Spyderco. Oh, and I cannot wait to bust into this girthy boy. Shall we? I think we shall. That's right, Spider-Co, baby. You know I love a good Spider-Co. I got a lot of them. I have a lot of them. I don't want to talk about it. Um, anyway, this is a first for me. This is by far and away the girthiest Spider-Co box I've ever seen. Uh, it's so girthy. I do, it, does, it, it kind of seems like overkill. Uh, there is your model number there. C239GPOR Subvert Plane. Uh, yeah. Otherwise, like, top-down, looks like a regular Spyderco box. It's not. It's thick. It's girthy. Let's take a look-see. The Spyderco slide. Nobody does it better. Big, bleh, big knife. Nice sticker. Some paperwork. We don't read around here. So we're gonna put that to the side and take a look-see at the subvert. This is a knife. I've been... Oh. Oh my god, dude. I knew it was big, but hot damn, I have been interested in this knife since I first saw a picture of it, honestly. Bright orange, absolutely massive, <laughs> just for no reason. G10 scales over Future Me, titanium, stainless liners, question mark? Is this like the uh, PPT where it's like a frame lock with G10 over top of it? Seems that way. Uh, absurdly thicker than a... It's so thick. Thicker than a snicker. We have a lanyard hole that uh, go to god-awful Spyderco clip with a little... It's a little... Uh, it's got a curve on. A little curvaceous. I approve. I like a curvier, girl. That's real nice. Uh, three screws holding it on. T6, T6, T8 on the pivot. Got that decorative tai, uh, Taichung Taiwan pivot on there. Similar to what you can see on the Drunken and stuff like that. Very nice, really nice texturing all over this G10. Great textured feel to it. Look at the blade stock on this thing. Size comparison, real quick. Here is a Tactile Knife Co. rock wall. Uh, yeah, dude. Um, um, uh, yeah, dude. Way big. Way big. Here's a Spyderco Pair 3. Yeah. Yeah, it's big. It ain't small, man. That is a big boy. A uh, thick a girth comparison. Look at the girth difference here. It's like twice as thick as the rock wall. It's absurd. And I love it. So we got the classic spidey hole going on there. No real texturing. No jimping on the blade. Just the texturing on the G10. Let's flick it open. Thumb flick? Let me zoom out for full effect. Ooh. <laughs> God, this blade... This is not a this is a machete. This is not a knife. CPM S30V on the blade. Spyderco does a great job with their S30V. Damn near full flat grind. Beautiful belt satin finish on that blade. Look at that. Gorgeous. Slight recurve. Just a future me. What is this blade shape even called? I have no idea. Looks like a big orange banana. Ergos in hand. Yeah, feels great. Feels excellent. Real nice ergonomic lines. Real big knife, but it fills the hand really well. Contouring on that G10. White knuckle? Feels good. No forward finger choil um, at all. So you can get to about here before it gets too scary. Pinch grip? All day. Surprisingly enough, all day with the pinch grip. Feels good. What a wild looking knife, man. What an absurd thing. Lock up? Solid. Solid as a rock. Yeah, it's like a titanium frame lock with G10 scales over top. So it's it's over the top. I love that it says BS right here. Future me, who designed this? Because I'm assuming that's his maker mark. I don't want to make fun of him. But it says BS. Bullshit? That's all I can think of. Lockup's good. A little bit of lock stick, but nothing crazy. Okay, a lot of lock stick. But action. Running on... Ooh. Running on, running on, what are you running on? Oh, that's way too bright. I'm blind now. Is this on bearings? Future me, is this on bearings? Like, I literally am blind. It looks like bearings. Future me? Thanks. 
Reverse flick. Spidey flick. Yeah, soft detent, but man, it comes out of there, doesn't it? Lot of lock stick. Thumb flick. It feels good. Access to the lock bar is fine. A ton of lock stick. Not a super snappy detent, but still, it's so big and ridiculous that it's so satisfying to fidget with. <laughs> and that blade being so heavy, man, that close is just buttery smooth. Oh, what an absurd thing. Acoustics, all you're going to hear is lock stick. You ready? That's bad. That's that's really bad lock stick. This is two Tai Chung uh, Taiwan Spideys in a row with really bad lock stick. Um, the Paizan was the last one I unboxed. This is not cheap. Future me, how much do these cost? A lot. 300 plus. I don't remember. A lot. Uh, but I want to cut something with that blade so bad it hurts. S30V on the blade steel. Let me grab the phone book. I bet you she'll cut. Factory Fresh Spider Co. Oh. God, yeah, dude. If you want a folding machete with a little bit of lock stick, <laughs> look no further. Um, what an absurd thing. And for it to still cut like a Spider Co. and feel like a Spider Co., even though it's insane, kudos. Kudos, Spider Co. I love weird Spider Co's. I will always love weird Spider Co's. And this is most definitely a weird Spider Co. But that is it for me. Plenty of pictures on my Instagram and on Kara's Instagram. Should be sure to follow us there. Uh, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel, become a Patreon member, become a channel member, support the dream, keep the dream alive. Keep crazy shit like this coming, baby. Big shout out to Blade Ops. Link to them down below. Pick one of these up for yourself. It's kind of insane and they're one of the only retailers that have them in stock right now um they kind of when they're gone they're gone spider co takes their sweet time making more so that is it the subvert finally on the channel thank you guys so much for watching and until next time bye bye now